I'm going to show you how I do a weekly review in Notion using the tab system. This is my own system that I've created and I haven't seen anyone else do a weekly review like this before. Quite frankly, they're missing out because it's helped me be more productive. I know my mission and why I'm doing it. And most importantly, I feel happier and more in control. Let's go through how I do weekly reviews in Notion using the tab system. So for this video, I'll be using my template headquarters. You don't need to use it. This is just what I use. So right here, you can see my week and I've actually unticked all the tasks that I've done just to show you a few different things. So here you can see my week and it's the end of the week. So it is time for me to reflect what I've done. So down here, just before, before I get to that, I wanted to show you this cool thing. Here you can see my task list and it's in order. And I actually use the Eisenhower matrix in order to see which tasks I should be doing first. So yeah, I have all of these. And as you can see, they automatically get ranked by urgency and by importance. It's a cool thing. I just wanted to show you that. So I'm just going to tick all of these off. So as you can see, I've now completed all of these tasks. And as you can see, they got removed from here as well. So on this here, I'm only seeing tasks that I haven't done. But to see all the tasks that I have done this week, I just click on all this week. So it's a really cool feature. That way, when I'm looking at my week, I'm not feeling overwhelmed with all the stuff I have to do. I'm only seeing stuff I haven't done. So if I untick this, for example, YouTube title research, you can see that it sits here and it comes back here. And if I were to tick this off like that, then it gets removed from here. So I'm seeing all this week and now it is time for me to do a reflection on my week, everything that I've achieved. So I'm going to click on plus here and I'm going to click on weekly review. And then you can see it automatically loads in all this stuff. So let's have a proper look at how I do my weekly review using the tab system. Now, the first thing in the tab system is T, which stands for thoughts. First off, the first thing I want to do is just journal my thoughts. A weekly review, I think, is just like a really extensive journaling session. So for it to be effective, I think I really need to get down my thoughts. And personally, I find it difficult to sometimes just write random thoughts. So I have these two journaling prompts here for myself for specifically the weekly review. So looking at my task list completed this week, do I feel like I accomplished enough? So what I can do in headquarters, because this is all automatically set up, I can see all of the tasks right here in the completed this week. So I actually don't have to go and manually look and try to find what I've achieved this week. It shows me right here. Hence, I wanted to show you actually checking off all of these individual items. I can see, okay, this is everything that I did this week. So I don't actually have to go looking for it. So when I look at this, you know what? I don't feel like I did enough this week. I feel like I could have worked a lot harder. So looking at that task list, that's how I feel. So writing this is great to get my thoughts out, but I want to also understand what was my biggest distractions. So having this thought is great, but I really want to dive deeper into it. So what were my biggest distractions this week? I wrote, I feel like I got started too late in the day. So now I have this and this, which gives me a bit of a concrete action. So after I've journaled my thoughts, I actually do a bit of digging and understand why, well, like what was the thing that was holding me back? What was my biggest distraction? And honestly, I just feel like I got up too late in the day because I was scrolling TikTok. So I can see here, the big issue is scrolling TikTok. So then comes the next letter in the tab system. So we've looked at my thoughts. The next thing is A, which is analyze. Now, I think the analysis part here is the real big game changer. This is such an amazing way of journaling and I haven't seen anyone else do it. So what I do in my Notion weekly review template here, I'm being shown all of the different tasks that I've done. And the thing that I'm analyzing is, what did I do this week that really helped move the needle? change these items importance to move the needle if they've had a big impact on your life. Now I do this every single week and I also go through at the end of every month as well. It has been truly a game changer for me knowing what are the stuff that I'm doing that is actually helping me that is actually moving the needle. For those of you who don't know, moving the needle is basically which tasks did you do that had a profound impact on your life on your work, on your fitness, on your family and relationships, whatever it is. So looking at this list here, which of these actually move the needle? So what I'll do here is change the importance to move the needle if I feel like it actually had a big impact. So record this journal video, I'm doing that right now. So it's difficult to say if that actually moved the needle. And because I have some of these that it's a bit too soon to say if it actually had a big impact, 
That's why I also go back and do it at the end of every month to reflect on the stuff that I might have missed. Edit journal video. I don't know why I ticked that in. I'll untick that. Whoops. So YouTube title research, doing dishes. I can tell you doing the dishes didn't move the needle for me. Buying groceries didn't have that impact either. But updating my Gumroad designs, I feel like that had a big impact. Only a few days ago, it said that I only had 400 headquarters users. That's not true. It has over a thousand now. So this deeply needed an update. I can say that this has moved the needle. It's going to help a lot with my actual store. Writing a course module. I've just just put letters here because I don't actually want to say which course modules I'm writing, but I'm in the process of making a course. So recording these modules hasn't had a big impact yet, but writing this course module here actually had a very big impact and has moved the needle because I came up with a bunch of awesome frameworks for uh, productivity. So I won't say what this module is yet because I'm in the process of making it, but I'm just saying move the needle here. Then we have recording the leverage video. Honestly, that didn't have a big impact, got very few views. The hike, as nice as it was, it did not move the needle. So doing this reflection here, analyzing what I actually did, will have a big impact. So this analysis here lets me see, okay, what actually did I do this week that moved the needle? And I can see it was updating the Gumroad designs and writing this course module. So it's a very interesting experiment to do. And this analysis stage is a really big part of my weekly review and probably the most important step in the tab system. Another thing I do is look at my weekly habits. Now, I actually didn't do any of my habits this week, which is embarrassing. So what I'm going to do is actually go back here and just add some fake ones because I want to show you how this works. So let's add a habit here and it's run. And then the urgency here is habits. And then the bucket for this is fitness. So I can put that there and I will just drag this here as well. So I have two of them and then I will tick these off and say, yep, I definitely ran. I'm not lying about that right now. Yep, I'm very good. So I can answer this and analyze my data again. And my data this time is just my habits. So looking at this, what helped me stick to my habits? If not, what can I actually do to stick to my habits next week? So I've written, don't scroll TikTok in the morning, get up and do it first thing. So again, I can see here the issue is TikTok. So now comes the last stage in the tab framework, which is B for bottleneck. So for those of you who don't know, a bottleneck is basically what is the big issue that is stopping you from making progress? So here I will add a new bottleneck. So in this template, I have a template for bottlenecks. So I'll add that there. Now, the bottleneck for me is actually TikTok. And that's actually why we do the bottlenecks last. That's why it's the B part, because doing this, I can see, okay, the issue here was TikTok. And at the top here, the issue was I was scrolling TikTok as well. That's why I wasn't achieving as much as I wanted to. So by doing T first, by getting out our thoughts, then doing A and analyzing our tasks and analyzing our habits, when we get to the B stage of bottleneck, we kind of know the issue. We kind of understand what the issue is. So for me, it was TikTok. So now what I can do is start adding tasks. So I'll make this full screen. And these tasks are going to directly address the TikTok bottleneck. So for me, it was TikTok this week, but you know, next week it's something else. And for you, it might be something completely different. So here I'm going to click on new and I'm going to start adding different tasks that can fix and stop my TikTok obsession. For the B part to work, the bottleneck part of this formula to work, we need to come up with actionable steps to address this bottleneck. So there's something easy, delete TikTok. There we go. That was an easy one. And that should fix a lot of my problems. So. The state for this, this is a quick task. It won't take that long to do. The time, you know what? I can just do it today. It's a two minute task. The urgency, I think it's pretty urgent. I need to do it right now. And you can see it jumped up in the queue. Important, very important. We probably don't need a bucket or a project involved for this. But now I've come up with a solution for this bottleneck. Now it might not always be as simple as delete TikTok, but doing this bottleneck exercise has had a massive impact in my life. Now I also have separate daily journal questions that I do that aren't part of my weekly review. They're actually included on download now with headquarters. So you actually get those 50 journaling prompts as well. If you're interested in seeing everything that headquarters has to offer, then click on this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was useful.